all right so for this video i want to show you on how to get max level very very quickly starting from level one all the way to level 50 in about three hours or so or even quicker depending on how fast you do this so let's get started firstly what you want to do is actually return to the title screen or just create a new world if you are a new player so what we're going to be doing is starting a new game and creating a new world obviously if you're a new player you would have a new world anyway we're going to name this world and um, we're going to go into custom settings now here you don't actually need to go full crazy or what you want to change you can revert these settings back but if you do want to get this levels very very quickly what we're going to be doing is increasing our xp rate now if you don't want to do this that's completely fine do not touch this you can do this normally as well but we're going to be getting as much xp as possible doing this uh, doing it this way because it's going to increase your xp gains by a lot now there are other options you can also change over here um for example like stamina and stuff like that but we're not going to focus on that too much right now it's just xp so let's go ahead and change that and now you can start the new world all right so once we've started we are now in the plateau of beginnings now from here we are going to be level one obviously and uh, what i want you guys to do is travel down it's going to be a more or less a straight line until we get to the tower of the syndicates okay and it's going to be a, a travel point here called the tower entrance okay um what i want you guys to do is get this one and then we're going to make our way here to the small settlements we want those two checkpoints from level one to level five okay let's go ahead and make our way there now to the small settlements okay so you guys have probably seen this before but we're going to be doing it a little bit different so from here what we're going to do is um, hit the security guards or shoot them or whatever you want to do, okay? Like that. And we're going to run back now, all right? Now, what we're going to do here is travel to the entrance of uh, the tower. And then we're going to go run inside. Now, the security guards will chase you. Don't worry about that. We need them to chase us inside. Um, like I said, you guys have probably seen this uh, glitch already. We're collecting these um, bosses. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing, okay? We're going to be going inside. So once we are inside, let this cutscene play for a little bit so the security guards do follow you inside. If you do skip it too early, they won't spawn in. But you can see them just like that right there. They have spawned in. And uh, now we can just skip the cutscene and you want to get between the boss and the security guards. So the security guards shoot the boss and the boss glitches out and stops chasing you. I'll be showing you exactly what I mean right now. So when he does this and just runs off now, you can basically just catch the boss and you get a bunch of XP. You can do this from level 1 to level 15 in a couple of minutes. You can do this very, very quickly. So from here, what you can do is just return to title and load the game back up. And you should spawn right outside. Okay, see, now we're outside the tower. And what you can do from here is go back to this travel point and basically just rinse and repeat exactly what we've just done. Um, it's pretty easy and it's very, very simple. And if you do die, it's okay. But you shouldn't be dying um, as often as you may think because you shouldn't be even getting hit by the boss at all. Just like that. We're going to go back to the tower. And um, yeah, so by increasing that XP gains, you can really do some serious damage with XP. You get a bunch of XP from doing this. And um, if you are not increasing the XP gains, it's fine. You can still do this, obviously, on like dedicated servers with no changes to the settings at all. But this is from level 1 to level 15. We can just constant, constantly do this. Very easy. Like I said, just wait for them to spawn in just like that. And now we can do this again. And you, you can pretty much do this like every 30 seconds. And if you are very quick, even quicker than that. Okay. Alright. So once we are level 15. Now what we can do is go ahead and go into our technology tab. And unlock the nightwing saddle we want to be able to fly to get to the next point because it's going to take a while if you don't not have flying and uh you can find nightwing uh quite early actually and i'll show you exactly where he is located okay this is where you can pretty much find nightwing he is all over the beginning um oh, obviously this is like the plateau beginnings right here he's located on the right side of it he is everywhere so go ahead and get yourself a nightwing Okay, so once you do have the Nightwing and you can now craft the saddle, which should be around right there, the Nightwing saddle. Now you can use him as a mount to fly around. From here, what you want to do is respawn, just like this. And you can do this at level 15, don't worry. Um, we have the chance to spawn in a different island. And this is what we're going to be going, okay? 
Your map isn't going to look like this if you just started out, but you will have this checkpoint right here called the Icewing Islands. We want to go and spawn over there. Now here, there's a checkpoint very, very close, and I'll show you exactly where that is. Okay, so once you spawn over here, if you just go to the left, you should see this spawn point right over here. Okay, go ahead and grab this. Okay, so once we have this fast travel point, now we are good. From here, what we're going to be doing is basically going all the way to the top of this mountain. And there's going to be another tower up here. And there's going to be another fast travel point very close to it. Now, what I highly recommend is actually building yourself some um, cold temperature armor. This is going to help you to survive up on those mountains. And I'll show you exactly how to do that now. So you can build some armor at like round level 4. You can also build it around level 9 as well. So make sure you do build the one at level 9. This is going to help you out so much up in the mountains. Because you're not going to be able to die. And if you don't have it, you will die. So again, like I said, make your way up to the mountain to find this tower. I'll show you exactly where it is located. Anyway, um, make sure you also do come here in daytime. Because at night time, you will die. But anyway, follow and um, let's go ahead and make our way to the tower. All right, so once we've made our way to the like the peak of the mountain, there's going to be the tower right there, and just in front of it, there's going to be the um, the checkpoint to fast travel from and to the uh, bases, and just to you know reset the timer for the boss. So from here, you can um, get off your mount if I can you know do that. I'm okay. So I'm actually dying right now. I need to go get some clothes. But anyway, once you have unlocked this fast travel point, we basically just do the same thing again. We're going to get the aggro from the security guards, okay? And from here, we're going to fast travel all the way to the tippy top of that mountain. We're going to turn around and make sure you do have your armor here. Because like I said, I uh, I don't have it on, so I'm actually quite weak up here. Anyway, we're going to make... Oh my god. So we're going to go inside and just do the same thing exactly how we did the first time. And from this one, you actually gain a stupid amount of XP like triple the first one and you're gonna get from level 15 to level 50 super super quick okay we're gonna let them spawn inside and again we're gonna let them shoot the boss okay and just like that he's gonna run away and basically just get stuck and now we can go ahead and capture the boss now um he's gonna give you a bunch of XP, like a ridiculous amount of XP. Now, if I just show you the screenshot on the screen right now, you can get this much XP from this guy. It is absolutely ridiculous. And yeah, you do actually keep this boss and uh, you can use him, um, which is pretty damn good. All right. And that is pretty much it for this video. And uh, you can go ahead and just keep farming this. Um, he is a bit challenging. That final boss, he does one shot you. But if you can get the timing right, you shouldn't even be able to even get seen by him. And uh, yeah, it's very, very easy. Very quick to get to level 1 to level 15. And then from level 15 to level 50. You don't have to do this. You do, can play the game legitimately. You don't even have to increase your XP gains. You can do the game exactly how you want to do it. But this is for you guys that want to speed run. Especially if you're going to be joining friends. And you want to just quickly get your levels up. This is the best way of doing it. It is ridiculous how much XP you get from these things. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this did help. And I will see you all very soon. And why is he inside the floor? All right.